part of this celebration. And as we begin, I'd like to ask Sedalia come up. She is our navigator and plays an incredibly important role, and she has a very important announcement to make. Cece? Hi, everyone. Bem-vindo to gente. Hoje nos revela novo bus de autobot de bus de bat. No crédito do gente por estar ali, por acompanhar no que é um dia especial ali, para hoje para combinar tudo junto de junto, para hoje que é novo bus que está ali, outro carro que está ali. Então, obrigado a todos que nos estão ali hoje, que nos continua conosco todo ano. Obrigado. Didn't Cece do a wonderful job? She says she's nervous. That's her first time speaking. So, what Cece was doing was making the most important announcement here today after, is letting everybody know there are hot dogs, there's an ice cream truck, and that we're going to have the unveiling of the bus. So that's the most important announcement uh, that anyone could make here. But I want to thank everybody for being here. This is a community event. Many of you are our customers. And walking through the crowd, uh, it was easy to see so many of you that we've known for so many years. Uh, one person, Mrs. Hall, just came up to me and talked about, you know, can I talk to you? I, I need some improvement in one of our services to Stoughton. And uh, Mrs. Hall, I, I know you're right in the back there. Right well, you're right there. Okay. <laughs> You move faster than I do with that thing, with that walk, walking assistant. So we'll be in touch on Monday. So uh, thank you. And Mrs. Hall's been a long time rider. She rides dial and uh, so thank you for being here. Uh, today, I'd like to welcome everyone here and like to recognize some uh, distinguished folks here. We have uh, some of our legislators here. We have Senator Michael Brady, Senator. <laughs> We have Representative Jerry Cassidy, Representative. We have some really important state partners here. We have the Rail and Transit Administrator, Astrid Glynn, Astrid. Our Director of Transit, who we work with on a weekly, if not daily, if not hourly basis, Tom Schiavone, Tom. Someone whom I've worked with for, dare I say, more than 30 years, our Federal Transit Administrator, who is in charge of the Northeast Region, Region 1, Mary Beth Mello. <laughs> and her associate, who she's introduced us with today, uh, Ryan Bartlett. And Ryan, welcome here. We have some elected officials, local elected officials. Uh, we have uh, City Councilor Ann Beauregard, Ann, I didn't say, there you are, in the blue coat. Hey, Ann. Uh, don't hold this against us. We went to Ecole de Sacre Coeur together, Sacred Heart, a school right down the street right over here. So nice to see you, Ann. Uh, we have some of our bad advisory board members. Uh, uh, chairman of the board from uh, West Bridgewater, Eldon Marrero. I saw you over there, Eldon. We have uh, Frank Lynham with his uh, beautiful granddaughter, Abigail, who is uh, doing some advertising for us today with that little backpack that we, uh, we have. Uh, and we have the chairman of the board selectman from uh, Avon, Frank Haggerty. He's also, he's also the executive director of the Norfolk uh, County uh, here, uh, just uh, north of us. Uh, I have a colleague here, uh, Ed Carr. I saw you drive in your red pickup truck. Where are you, Ed? Ed, there you are. <laughs> Fellow colleague, the administrator of uh, Next to BAP, the best RTA in the Commonwealth, the Metro West RTA, and a former, uh, well, once you're a Marine, you're always Marine, and thank you for your service, Ed. And so thank you and welcome. <laughs> we are going to have an ever brief speaking program. Uh, there were just three people who were going to speak. Right after our speaking program, we're going to have the unfurling of our new bus. This is part of our new bus design. And uh, 
and then we're going to have one of our buses pull in, a 40-foot bus. We'll take people on an inaugural ride uh, around the block. No fares. <laughs> it's free. Uh, we want to make sure we count every passenger, so uh, when our operator and Joe Meck, you're on the bus, make sure you count everyone. Uh, count them twice on today. Today's a special day. So uh, count everybody twice today. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to have uh, the mayor who was going to be here um, is uh, on his way back from Chatham, but he has uh, to take his father uh, to a medical appointment. I know that many of you who happen to know the mayor very closely, he has a father who um, he cares very, very deeply about. And, uh, you know, I have an 88-year-old father, and, uh, you know, our parents, we only get our parents once in our life, so if we have a need to deal with one of our parents, we should certainly take that as, a, as really our primary obligation. And the mayor has always been there for us, and we certainly understand that he can't be here, but he has Nick from his staff here uh, making sure that everything we do is, uh, he can give a positive report, and uh, Nick is his deputy chief of staff. So if I could ask uh, the chairman of our Audit and Finance Committee, the chairman of the board of the Avon uh, Selectmen, and the executive director of the Norfolk County, if Frank, if you could come up and just say a couple of words. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. If word ever gets out in Avon that I was filling in for a mayor, I'll be uh, in deep trouble. But welcome to the City of Champions, the, the home of Rocky Marciano, Marvin Hagler, and of course, the best RTA in the state of Massachusetts, BAT. The City of Brockton and, it's, and the area is a very diverse community and it can celebrate many successes, including the success of the educational system and the students who come and learn each and every day in the schools within the city. BAT serves as a hub for so many hospitals and healthcare facilities and institutions of higher learning that provide incredible opportunities to a future generation. We also are fortunate to have a regional banking network willing to invest in our community and most importantly, our citizens who really care about the future of the city and the area. And we hear from them constantly. Today we are pleased at the efforts that BAT has made to modernize its fleet to better serve the customers who depend so much upon BAT and the services that BAT does deliver to our, our residents. BAT plays an important role in the economic development of the area and is proven to be a valuable partner in all of the economic uh, development within the city and the area. We also appreciate BAT's partnership in the city's pedestrian safety campaign. BAT continues to play an important role as we expand our efforts in improving public safety by increasing camera CCTV coverage throughout the city as well as playing a major and significant role during winter storms. Without saying much, we can personally see the positive impact that BAT has on moving people to work, to doctor's appointments, to school, to shopping. Finally, many of our residents, including the elderly and disabled, have no other means of transportation and rely on BAT each and every day. Again, welcome, and we think that the new look that will be unveiled today will be enjoyed by all. Yes. And we can't wait to take our next trip on one of our new buses. Welcome. Well, well, thank you, Frank. I think as Frank mentioned in uh, his remarks that uh, we are very fortunate to have a number of partners here. I know one of our partners is Old Colony Planning Council and Pat Cheramella, where are you Pat? You're right here. Thank you Pat. Pat is celebrating this year his 40th year 
in his role at Old Colony Planning Council, and I know of no one better to serve in that role. Thank you, Pat. So, also, you know, we're also lucky to have health care facilities here, a great educational system. I see Kathy Smith and Mike Thomas in the back there. Thank you, Kathy, for being here. Great partners. They have been partners with us in the development of our capital regional, I mean, our comprehensive regional transit plan. Uh, we hope to be unveiling and working with uh, uh, Kathy and the school department uh, some new programs coming up uh, very, very shortly, including the potential of a student pass, also an educational program, and continuing to partner with them in trying to get more students from uh, the school system to ride our buses. Thank you for that, Kathy. And we also have with us someone who knows Brockton extremely well from an economic development uh, perspective, the president of Rockland Trust. I see Jerry Nadeau in the back there, standing next to our Chamber of Commerce, President Chris Cooney. So I want to thank you for being here uh, today for this as well. Our next uh, presenter is uh, one of, uh, is our state senator from this area, uh, Michael Brady. And uh, Michael is, uh, um, you know, a senator for now about two years, a long-standing elected official, whether it be in the city council or as a state representative, and a very, very active member of the legislature. So if I could have you come up and say a few words. Thank you, Ray, and, and as, as you notice, when I first sat, there was a lot thinner and less gray hairs, but um, I, I want to thank you for having this event today. This is a great event moving forward for the city of Brockton and the southeast region that BAT serves. I remember, you know, in my parents' generation, they, they had the old trolley cars that used to go to and from the area, and then they had other companies, and then BAT, I believe, took over in 1974 and started moving the city forward. And I then, when I was going to college at Massachusetts Community College, I was, I was a lot younger then, and I didn't own a car, so I used a bat bus to go back and forth from my home on Pleasant Street over to the Massachusetts Community College. And then when we were able to unveil this intermodal facility when I was on the city council, it's a great endeavor for our community here. And moving forward with the unveiling of new modern technology buses that are safer, more efficient with fuel, and it's just a win-win for the community. And we can't do it alone. We are all partners here in our community. And I want to thank, as was mentioned, Representative Jerry Cassidy was here today, Representative Michelle Dubois, I believe, is on her way, and Representative Claire Cronin, who is the first elected, appointed woman of the Judiciary Committee. So she's got one of the most busy committees in the Commonwealth. So she's in Boston dealing with that. But uh, in our local city councils and all of us here today, we are all working together for the city of Brockton and the southeast region and most importantly our residents because we work for you and we want to make sure that you are able to get around this area in a safe and efficient efficient manner, manner. and also all the employees of the bat bus because you run a great ship here and you do a great job and without your work we wouldn't get our residents around. So I want to thank everybody here today. Uh, I'm going to keep quiet so we can get moving with the unveiling because you've heard enough of me, but uh, thank you to everyone who showed up today. This is what the city of Brockton is all about. Thank you. Senator, don't go away yet. Today is also the senator's birthday. We won't say how many years it is, but we have a little presentation for you here. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Here's a little birthday cake uh, for you, Senator. Thank you very much. Can we much. sing happy birthday to the Senator? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Senator Brady. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Those are the two of the most beautiful children I've ever had deliver a birthday cake to me, so thank you. thank you. And if you stay in office long enough, they might be able to vote for you. Thank you, so. thank you very much. Okay. We'll have to have you get help me kind of later, okay? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Colin, and thank you very much, Maggie. Thank you. For, nice job. 
We're also very, very fortunate to have with us someone whom uh, I've happened to have the pleasure of working with for many, many years. And before I introduce her, I'll tell you a little bit about the role that she has played and shared with us here. When I called her to ask her if she would come, I started to talk about, you know, you were the first person to help us replace our first bus fleet. Now, just to let you know, buses are on the road for and have a life of 12 to 14 years. We are embarking upon our third bus fleet replacement in my tenure here and in working with this person who I'm going to introduce. When it came to building the BAT Center, she and I walked around this site that was once the site of a brownfield. It was once the home of Beretta Buick. It's, it sat here unoccupied for more than 14 years, was on fire several times, was just a disastrous site. She walked here in the winter, along with Mary Beth Mello and myself, in heels, not me, I wasn't in heels, they were both in heels, and you know, through potholes, through slush and snow, just taking a look at what our vision of this project would be. We are now in the third vision or third cycle of our bus replacements. And on each one, Ms. Astrid Glynn has been here for us in the development of this facility. She comes to us as have, having served as the Director of Transit at EOTC, the Executive Office of Transportation and Construction, the Executive Office of Transportation. She then left for a brief period of time to become the Commissioner of Transportation for the State of New York. And we are so fortunate to have her back in Massachusetts as our Rail and Transit Administrator. Please help me in welcoming a real supporter of transit, a real supporter of that, and someone who keeps us working hard every day, makes us better, Ms. Astrid Glenn. Thank you very much, Ray, and thank all of you. Uh, I have to say that we are very fortunate in having Ray as one of the regional administrators. Uh, we have 15 regional transit authorities, as some of you know, and I would never pick a favorite. But if I were to pick a favorite, well, well, it might be. <laughs> uh, Ray has done remarkable work here, and he has really led the Commonwealth in terms of making regional transit not just a means of mobility, but a way for the community to access what is important, a way for the community to access employment, health care, education, and its neighbors. And that is something that Ray has never forgotten, and he makes true every day. And I want to thank everybody who has on the advisory board who supports him. I want to thank the citizens who ride the buses every day and make true what he says and it make tr makes true the story of transit that he is so good at telling. I also want to thank the legislators who are here today. Without the legislators, without the, the, the resources that the legislature gives us, we wouldn't be able to do much uh, that we want to do. And so we're very grateful for the resources that you do give us and the support that you allow us to provide to people like Ray and the people who are here today to t attest to the importance of regional transit. Thank you very much. Now, if you happen to take a look over your shoulder, you'll see the bus that is not covered. And I have a little story about that bus, okay? That bus, believe it or not, is 22 years of, of age. And that is the last bus of our fleet replacement, the first fleet replacement that we worked on with Astrid Glenn. It was one snowy day when Charlie Stevenson was administrator and I was the deputy administrator. And I said, Charlie, um, do you mind if I go in and talk to Astrid in Boston about trying to work on our fleet replacement. I called up, it was snowing, she was in the office. I went in and she said, we'll do whatever we can to help you make that dream come true. 
That bus is 22 years old, well beyond its useful life. A great credit to the maintenance team that we have here that has been able to stay on the road so long. So we have a special gift for you. I, I was told it just doesn't, it, it's easy to unwrap. You just have to pull the, um, yeah. Okay, you hold it. Okay, I'll hold it. Aha. Uh -huh. This for Astrid is the original keychain we had when we opened up the Fact Bat right, Center. I recognize it. And the key to the bus, please feel free to take it home with you <laughs> when you go home. So it's all yours. It's Thank all you. yours. I've never had a bus before. <laughs> Thank you. No, I mean it. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for Astrid. <laughs> and, and, and Astrid, I've got to, I've got to tell you, you, you have assembled really the best team at MassDOT working for you that uh, I've had the pleasure of working with over my tenure. Tom Schiavone is the director of transit, Mike Lambert, Jillian, Lauren. You know, we are blessed, and I'm sure you, you know that you're blessed to have uh, that team. So thank you, Astrid. Thanks. In conclusion of our remarks, we just have a few people to thank. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mike Blond and our general manager and Tim Nestor and the whole team at BAT that helped set this event up. We were here last night at 10 o'clock, you know, setting this up. One of the things that is great, this job is a lot of fun, right? So this job can be a lot of fun. I'd like to thank Rob Peters for our sound. Glenn, Glenn Geiler, Glenn, can you give us a, ra a wave in the back there? Okay, Glenn, this is her first event trying to organize this uh, with us. So really like to thank Glenn. And then a person here, where is Allison Van Dam? Allison, can you come up here? Now, many of you know Allison through the Chamber of Commerce and the work that she's done, and we're lucky to have such a great partnership with uh, Chris Cooney at the Chamber. And Allison, uh, two years ago, we started talking about rebranding our organization to try to attract our next generation of riders. Uh, Allison, who is a millennial, I would say, right? <laughs> kind of, sort of. We're not talking about age. But de deals with us with how do we attract the next generation of our riders for the future. She helped us in redesigning our website. She helped us in redesigning all of our print material. And one of the things we did for any of you customers out there, we wanted someone who never rode transit before to help develop our timetables and how to ride transit. And Allison was absolutely wonderful at that. And then when we had tasked her with the challenge of trying to help us redesign our image through our paint scheme on those buses, Allison helped us and she was just phenomenal. Allison, we are presenting this to you as a gift, but you cannot open it yet because this shows what the bus looks like. So this is for you to open after the unfurling of the bus. So I want to thank you very much. For that. Uh, Chris, good job lending her to us. So thank you very much, uh, Chris. So now, if we can have the unfurling of the bus, 